Hi, I'm Chris Castle with Solid Box, and today on the behalf of MLC CAT Systems, we're here with Paul Pablo Huffaker, driver of the world famous Gravedigger Monster Truck and owner of Racehorse Incorporated. And we're just talking to him a little bit about the industry and how it's evolved over the last few years. You want to tell us a little bit about the uh, monster truck industry? You bet, Chris. I've, well, I've been involved in monster trucks for the last 28 years. I got my start just in the north side of Houston here. We built a monster truck to promote a full drive shop. Back then, they were no more really than a stock frame that we had reinforced. We stuck a set of military two and a half ton axles mm -hmm. underneath it and a big set of Terra tires. And, you know, that was, that was the beginnings of monster trucks. But, you know, over the years, things evolved. We started building, you know, a little bit more purpose-built chassis. We build a tube frame chassis yeah. out of square tubing, and you know we still use steel bodies. Well, as anything, the sports progress. We're now building full tube chassis trucks, fiberglass bodies, custom-built rear ends, custom shocks. Every single component on these trucks is purpose-built for the monster truck racing business. You had to buy a lot of your parts off the shelf, right? You couldn't just go. You just you had to wait, there were lead times, so you eventually started making your own parts, right? Yeah, you're right there. I mean, we used to try to, you know, either adapt parts over from military vehicles or other forms of racing to use in what we do. Or if I had an idea on something, then I'd have to go outsource and find someone to, you know, design and build a part for me. Nice. And, you know, that really, that really kind of hampered the growth of my sport because, you know, how much time do you want to spend depending on other people to, yeah. you know, help you better your product? So we brought that development in-house and we're now, you know, designing, machining, and building our own components right here. Taking time, lead times for new product development from, you know, sometimes months down to as little as days or even, you know, one day sometimes on implementing a new idea and actually having it ready to go on the truck. You've been a Mastercam user for a few years now, right? Right. I've been using Mastercam for the last five years and you know that really opened a lot of doors to me. I was able to make rapid design changes and go right back in, remachine my parts differently and, and put them back to into the use on the truck. But you know I'm really looking to take that to the next level now and be able to, you know, do some some testing, you know, not so much making these components, then putting them on the truck and trying them, but trying my ideas ahead of time and, and pushing them out on, you know, on the computer. Nice. And we're here today to show Paul how to use SolidWorks to make the best designs possible. What we're going to hopefully do today is show you how to use SolidWorks and then implement that in your master cam. Now, are there any parts today that you, maybe we can work on that you think uh, we can make better? Hey, you bet, man. You guys came at a perfect time. I've got a part that I've been making for the last well, about 10 years. We really enhanced the, the stock component, made a lot more robust piece out of it. But now that monster truck demands uh, have, have grown so much, we're trying to take this part to the next level and strengthen it a little more. So maybe I'll, you can help me with that. I like the challenge. Let's do it. Let's go see it. All right, man. So Paul, tell us about this part. Is it looks like a, a spindle off an axle or something? Well, this is a spindle on the monster trucks. You know, everything, all the weight of the tire and everything depends on the strength of this part. You used to see a lot of times the monster truck wheels would fly off yeah. and we'd land, they'd break. Well, you know, what we have done over the years is, you know, we used to run stock spindles and, you know, the inherent failure points on this were, you know, poor radiuses, material, and you know, just the heat treat. Everything on this thing had, it had inherent problems. It was never designed to do what we do. So yeah. about 10 years ago, we developed our own spindles for the monster trucks here at Race Source. Not only do we use a proprietary metal and heat treat process, but we changed the design some by changing radiuses, as you can see here, and just the wall thickness on the material, just a few small changes. But man, we have really made a lot better part. But man, as you know, as you've seen, monster trucks are flying higher and landing harder. Yeah. So we need to try to take this thing to the next level. So what I'd like to see if you might can help me with today is if we make a few little changes to this. Yeah. How much benefit could we probably see? Cool. How about we go upstairs and model this in SolidWorks? Hey, you bet, man. If we get this thing drawn up, maybe I can cut this thing this afternoon. All right. I like the challenge. Let's do it. Let's, let's get, let's get up there. Let's go.